in this video clip, I'll show you the very useful library. This is Pandas. Uh, what is Pandas? The idea of Pandas is, uh, is the library that uh, you can explore the data, you can visualize the data, you can do a lot of things, you can try to uh, analyze the data that is uh, using the mean, the max, sum, or you can use uh, something that can you, you can count the data, you can select the data. It's very useful for the data scientist. In this part, uh, I will introduce something that is uh, the data scientist today they use uh, because as I told you that uh, in our course, I divide it into uh, actually the full stack uh, developer, right? To be to be the full stack developer, but um, because you are studying Python and uh, the pandas is very important library that many people you they are using, and the data science is a trend that uh, is very popular today. But in data science, um, there are um, like uh, many many uh, many types, many subtypes that you have to work on that. But the idea is quite simple. Uh, for the data science, you have to start with some questions, some interesting questions, and then you have to you have to find the interesting patterns that you can discover from that data. But to discover some, some pattern, you have to know the data first. So you have to explore the data and then uh, try to create the, the questions that uh, build like the stories that you can use that story to conclude something from from your data okay so uh, for example for example uh, I'll start with today uh, the PM 2.5 that is the data that you are that that you family right uh, for the for the PM 2.5 you have a lot of uh, a lot of things that you can think about as I told you we start with the uh, questions in your mind for example the data can be uh, the PM 2.5 and the questions can be uh, on on any hour of the day that uh, we can go out and enjoy uh, exercise that is you have to find the lowest right you have to find the lowest uh, PM 2.5 on every day for example, maybe you think that on 5 a.m. that is the traffic is very light, no cars on the road, should be good, uh, like good time for to to go out for exercise. But you have to confirm this by exploring the data and try to visualize the data. So, guys, uh, our questions now is. Oh, sorry. Our questions is when should we go out for uh, exercise? Okay, this is the questions. So after you know the questions, now you have to find your answer. Okay, what? Uh, when is the best time uh, that we can go out for exercise during the PM 2.5 uh, period it is, uh, during the winter season in Thailand okay so now I start with uh, working with the data uh, for pandas when you want to use panda you have to import pandas as PD uh, now we will use the library and PD will be the nickname of the pandas so uh, for, for pandas we have one data structure that is very important we, we call it the data frame 
yes uh, the data frame can 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 be used to load the data from the file uh, the file can be CSV or can be Excel file so guys um, now you have to upload the file uh, PM 2.5 you have to using this button for Google Colab but if you use your pandas on your Jupyter notebook on your machine no need to upload the file so this is a PM 2.5 file that uh, you can find from our chat drive and I'll give you the link in our description of this video clip uh, you can upload this file and it will be here until you auto for like a 90 minutes and um, this VM will be clear okay so this is PM 2.5 file and when you want to load the data it's quite simple uh, just load it into the some variable and many people use df to represent the data frame so this is df and pd dot c read csv and you have to provide the name pm 2.5 csv okay that's all now the data is already read into your df to explore the data at first you have to uh, know the I I always use this this uh, statement df dot head it will show you uh, the default the default parameter is it will show you five first five rows okay so you will know that you will you will see you will be able to see here uh, this is the header of your data frame and this is the index but can you see here uh, it is not correct right because uh, the in our CSV we start with no header okay and uh, there are two columns the da data uh, here is the date and time and here is the PM 2.5 values so uh you can provide another parameter that is a uh, header is none so pandas will know that uh, your data has no ha header so it will provide the name of your data the name of the column of your data so you can provide the name of you can add the name of the the columns here using this one uh, the elf dot columns yes a list of the column names that is I will use the DT for the date term and uh, PM for the PM values so after I assign the column name, uh, this one is the result of the head. Can you see? Uh, now all data is correct. Uh, the column name, the first column name is DT, and the second name is PM. Okay. Uh, this is the the starting point of your pandas. And I'll show you another uh, other useful functions of Pandas Pandas library in the next video clip. See you guys.